With the Character Animation Tweaker, you gain precise control over a character's animations. Let's put one on a Sackbot and take a peek. The first tweak you'll see is the Override Default Rotation Tweak. When this is set to Yes, you'll have complete control over how your Sackbot is oriented in the world. Give it a go now and tweak the Sackbot's pitch, yaw, and roll angles. Amazing! Now enter the Choose Animation menu. You will only be able to choose animations associated with the type of bot being tweaked. So if you want to animate a Swoop Sackbot or an Otsock Sackbot, be sure to change your Sackbot's form first. For now, let's stick with a normal Sackbot. On the left, you'll see Animation Categories. On the right, you'll see the specific animations associated with those categories. Scroll through the list until you find an animation you like. Once you've chosen an animation, you can play around with it. The animation speed tweak determines how fast the animation plays. The animation start and animation end tweaks allow you to change how much of the full animation you'll use. You can have it start and end at any point in the animation's usual cycle. Of course, it's easy to make this look very odd, so be sure your tweaks are having the desired effect. The loop tweak determines whether an animation plays over and over again, or once. With the reset if inactive tweak set to yes, the animation will start over from the beginning whenever it's triggered. If you set it to no, it will start from wherever it left off, even if that means the very last frame. With the input action tweak, you can change how the animation plays based on logic. This can simply mean turning the animation on and off, making it play backwards, or something more complex like choosing specific frames in the animation with the positional option. For the next bit, let's take a look at how animation tweakers behave on sequencers. Using sequencers, you can blend two animations together for smooth transitions or brand new movements. Change the way animations blend using the Animation Blend Action Tweak. Animations can blend automatically, manually, or relative to their positions on the sequencer. Play around with it to get a feel for how it works. The Actor Name Tweak is used in conjunction with the Sackbot actor's name so you can animate Sackbots from afar. Just set them up to match and any animation on the tweaker will apply to the Sackbot as well. This is handy for keeping all the logic in your cutscenes in one place. Finally, you may have noticed the sequencer bar that progresses as the animation plays. Using this, you can trigger logic based on animation timing. <laughs> 